So Kelly, you're not originally from Columbus, and I know a lot of people are drawn to Columbus for different reasons. Can you tell us a little bit about your connection to this area? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I, I am from the East Coast. I spent my entire life and career there. Uh, and so at the, invitation, at the invitation to visit Columbus, as I was interviewed for the job, I came out um, to see Columbus and to be interviewed by uh, some of the community members uh, who, after all, were funding uh, the project, a portion of the project. Uh, and as uh, we drove into Columbus, which was my first time, and I had known of the city, but I didn't really know what was in it very well. Uh, we rolled past uh, Kevin Roach's uh, post office, which caught me by surprise because I immediately caught the quality of its architecture but didn't recognize it. And in asking what was that as it went past the window, the next building that rolled up was the Arosarinen Bank, which I admit, initially mistook for, is, is that a Mies van der Rohe? My lord. But no, no, he would never put domes on it. And before I could answer the question, knowing I should know that building because I know that's important, uh, we roll past and I see the Henry Moore sculpture where I began to lose it about the quality of that th and then saw the Pay Library, this beautiful space, and turned to my right and recognized the first modern church in the United States where I promptly lost it and said, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. that, that, that was my, I was uh, initially actually embarrassed that I didn't know these buildings. I should have known them much better. Uh, because of their quality and stature. Uh, so that was my, my first take on the city of Columbus. Subsequent to that, uh, I was invited to visit the Miller House, which I uh, designed by Mr. Saarinen and, and Kevin Roach. And um, uh, I had never seen it before. I was excited to visit this building. And as we pulled up and came into the uh, entranceway, and the minute we stepped inside, uh, I had the odd experience of almost as if from a dream, knowing the building. Out of my mouth, words fell. I knew about the roof, I knew the roof leaked before, the, before anyone told me. I knew about, I saw the conversation pit, that's the co original, that's the first conversation pit in uh, contemporary modern architecture of which a lot of copies were made by others. And I knew about this fireplace that was not buried in a brick masonry wall, like many fireplaces are, uh, it was some, some, the ceiling was asked to come on down, and the floor was asked to come on up, and they would stop, and the fire would live in between. I'm like, hey, how do we even know these words? And I, I, I for four hours, rifled through my, my, my backlog of, of, uh, of memories, and finally landed on the fact that I remember when I was 19 years old, in my first architecture class at Auburn University, a gentleman named Dick Millman was my teacher. And we were having so much fun in that class learning the basics of design. Uh, we innocently asked them, what do you, uh, this is so much fun, what do you do when you're an architect? They said, well, uh, we also do something called working drawings. It's very different from this. We said, oh, what are they? I said, I'll bring you in some. He came with a big roll. He unrolled this blue paper that had white lines all over it. They were working drawings. I couldn't read them because there are no pictures. It was all fragmented. I understand how to look at a working drawing. And so I can only listen to his words. And he talked about, I could swear he talked about the Miller House plus the Commons um, office building. And so I had the um, ability to speak to him. Uh, I was invited back to Auburn to give a lecture. And uh, while I was there, I asked if Mr. Mr. Uh, if, if, uh, Mr. Millen was still around. I said, oh, he certainly is. He's living, down, he's living in town. Found his phone number uh, and gave him a call and said, uh, uh, Professor Millen, this is Kelly Wilson, a former student of yours. You know, <laughs> this, is, I'm, you know this is quite a few years ago. And I said, uh, I, did, I, I had you for first year class and I could swear you brought out a set of drawings and talked about uh, I, I, the Miller House, which I just visited. I said, I, did, do you remember this? He said, Kelly, I'm, I'm 94. I don't remember very much anymore, but I remember you, uh, which I thought, oh dear. And, and he said, um, uh, and I don't know what I may have uh, said to you, but I worked for Aero Sarin, and Kevin Roach was my job captain, and I designed all the details for the Miller House. And through me, an electrical shock went through, which was, 
the, the beauty of feeling that someone had handed you a set of concepts and ideas and inheritance, that your responsibility was like a baton in a relay race to make sure the next generation was received and firmly grasped that baton. It was a wonderful way to link the very beginning of my life in architecture with something that happened later in my life in architecture. <laughs>